Good day, traders. This is Rich with BinaryOptionTrading.com. Hang on. Trying to get situated here, and I'm getting in a tr put option trade on extended move a little late. Uh, hopefully, I don't miss this one. Um, got the climb up. Finally, I'm watching the markets here, kind of just hanging around for the last hour or so. Uh, 37.42. The lines are working well today, guys. Lines are working really well. Look at here. Resistance one, boom, just hit, dropped off, hit 37.42, climbed, hit 37.42, climbed. And now we're hitting resistance one for a double top. Uh, 30 minute chart, you can see we haven't we saw this yesterday. So we're going to have to break the highs of yesterday to make new highs. And this is a troubled area for the euro to make through. If it does make it through here, though, we're going to see the 38s today, uh, no doubt. Um, but it's got to really make it through. So on a one minute chart, it looks pretty good. This is where I wanted to get in. Uh, I'm just a little slow to getting everything set up, um, but we will watch it, of course. I think we should be in favor. Yeah, we're in favor right now by a few pips, so that's a good start. Um, now we just need to drop off into this area. I think it's going to bounce up and give us a nice challenge. Uh, gold just dropped off, and now it's climbing up to its highs. Um, U.S. markets are just getting open. It's 9.40. Hope everyone's having a good trading week. It's Tuesday. Make sure you guys comment, share, tweet, get involved with the channel. Like the video. Definitely helps when you like the video and things like that. Uh, that's why we do this channel is to just keep the community growing. Uh, there's a lot of lame videos out there, and I'm trying to make one of the better ones. So anything you can provide will help, um, and we'll continue looking for these types of trades. Now, had I gotten in on this wick here, things would have been much nicer. I got in a little bit lower because I wasn't set up, but I felt the weakness at the resistance one level. So what we'll do is we'll pause, we'll come back, and hopefully it'll keep dropping or at least hang out at this area. Okay, guys, we're back here. We got about 15 seconds to go, and price has continued to stay in our favor. Did jump up here on this particular candle, uh, but then pulled off on the next one, and it's trying to fight here. But I don't think it's going to make a move back up to our entry level. Uh, gold spiked as well and now it's pulled back at the highs. So I'm thinking the euro is going to start to solidify a base here around resistance one and then make its move to new highs. Uh, 37.42 is down here. 37.76. Resistance three is at the 38 number. It's going to have a hard time getting there, but I think it will get there eventually. Um, Euro just wants to make its move eventually and feel like it's the winner. So let's go check out the back end and we'll go to the chart a little bit more. Okay, in at 1.37623, close at 1.37593. So decent trade, three pips, you know, we'll take it. Um, you know, we like our two, three pippers. Those are the ones you're going to get on a normal basis, especially when you get in with about six minutes to go. Sometimes markets can move 10 pips, 20 pips, 30 pips in a few minutes. But in this case, we're looking at two, three pips, which is fine. And that's, you know, the steady trades, the ones you're looking for. And as you can see, price is coming back up here to challenge the highs. And I think it's going to break above it. Um, I would not look for a put option here. Once again, it is if we go back to the five minute, you can see here breaking above this area of resistance. Uh, resistance one and it's double topping and if it can get through there we had a double bottom here so the channel was good one two mid channel three and now four and now it's going to just keep testing if it tests here and holds let's say 37 50s uh and bases that's fine and it's going to eventually extend through it gold is popping too so i think euro is going to pop and uh, make new highs it might not hold above this area here um, might not get to resistance two just yet, but it's definitely going to break through highs of the day at some point, and then we'll see what happens going forward for the rest of the week. I definitely expect 38 to be touched at some point this week. I don't know exactly when. Uh, it could take a news event or something like that to make that happen. So I am pretty excited about this trade. Uh, pretty good one. Going, can, you know, you got to watch the charts, and when the lines are working, even the pivot line was working here. Um, you kind of have to trade it until it doesn't work. Now, it's not going to work every time. you got to manage your risk and look for the best trade sales possible. I came into the markets around this area here, and I didn't see much happening, so I waited for the move, and the move happened. 
Um, if you start trading this chop here, you're going to get burned, um, possibly, unless you're really ready. But, uh, you know, when you have trades like one, two, and three, and you're patient for all three of those, you're doing pretty good. You're having a good, you're having a good day. And this is the fourth one. So if you started trading about six or seven hours ago, and you wait patiently for the true setups, uh, you're talking about four trades that worked in your favor, okay? So keep an eye on those levels. Keep an eye on the markets. Watch your risk. Drink your water. And remember to comment, like, share, tweet, and get involved on the channel. If you have any questions, also you can leave it below. And we will be back on Wednesday for the trade of the day. This is Rich with Binary Option trading.com